hello today we will study register noise so let's see what is register noise a noise generated in a resistance or a resistive component is known as register noise it is generally made up of thermal noise white noise or johnson noise so register noise types is also a form of thermal noise so let's quickly see the derivation how the thermal noise is generated we will derive thermal noise in the form of noise power so standard definition which it occurs due to random and rapid motion of molecules inside the component and this due to random movement they collide each other and generate a heat this heat is known as a thermal noise so it considered as is at 0 kelvin there will be no movement or kinetic energy of a particles becomes approximately zero hence motion ceases so at zero kelvin there will be a no thermal noise as we move on increasing the temperature the noise power increases and the noise power is represented by pn as we go on increasing the temperature the noise power is also increases so t is represented at temperature as we increase the temperature the noise power is also increases so let's mark it that equation number 1 now if we increase the temperature the noise power is increases but over which range so we are considering a some range over which we have to calculate the noise power so it must have some bandwidth over which the signal is to be received hence the bandwidth over the signal is received is also directly proportional to noise power so if we combine equation number 1 and equation number 2 from 1 and equation 2 noise power is directly proportional to temperature and bandwidth so here we see a constant of proportionality this is represented by k so now equation noise power is given as k t b so this is an important derivation so let's see what is k k is boltzmann constant and its value is given as 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joules per kelvin here t is the absolute temperature in for calculation in kelvin now at uh, delta here b is bandwidth and p is maximum noise power at a register now let's mark it as equation number 3 so this is very important formula we should remember now we are going to calculate the voltage from a single resistance basically a noise voltage from a single resistance what is the noise voltage obtained with a noisy resistance now consider a resistance which is noisy and another resistance that is known as load resistance which is noiseless so assuming rl is noiseless and receiving maximum noise voltage generated by resistance r so since it is a resistance the noise voltage generated by this resistance is represented by vn so i am just marking vn here so this is a resistance which is generating a noise voltage so basically the whole part is a single resistance but we have marked that it is since it is a noisy the noise generated noise voltage generated by this resistance is vn so now what we are doing we are going to calculate this vn so 
let's see under maximum power transfer theorem r equals to rl or rl equals to r so under maximum power conduction or maximum power transfer theorem r must be equals to rl so that maximum power can be transmitted over a load resistance rl now according to formula noise power is given as v square by r l or r or we can say v square upon r since v here is v whatever we take v whatever we take is always taken in rms form so v is according to power division rule sorry according to voltage division rule v is given by vn by 2 so substituting pn is equals to let us mark it as 1 and this mark it as 2 pn is equals to vn by 2 square upon r or rl so second so vn square upon 4 r so this is another equation number 3 now since we are calculating vn so vn square is equals to 4 r to pn so we have already calculated pn as ktb in the equation above so vn square is given as 4 r we substitute pn as ktb so if we derive the formula vn is given as under root of 4 k t b and r so the final formula of noise voltage is 4 k t b r let us mark it as equation number 4 so this is a very important formula here we see that k is Boltzmann constant t is absolute temperature b is bandwidth and r r is the resistance which resistance this resistance so due to noisy resistance the noise voltage and it is is given given as 4 k t b r so this is a very important formula we should remember for any noise voltage calculation so this voltage is generated due to a single resistance now we can calculate also due to multiple resistance connected in series or in parallel so thank you for now thank